Greetings and welcome to this 3D Motive video course on an introduction to post-processing and debugging with Unity 3.5. I'm Alan Fawn and in this course we'll examine a whole range of features and ideas that developers use towards the end of the development process but typically before their game is sent to testers and to the quality assurance team. We'll start the course by exploring how to add glitz and pizzazz to the graphics of our game with post-processing effects such as bloom, sepia tone and chromatic aberration. Then we'll see how to measure and benchmark performance as well as diagnose runtime problems and errors using the stats panel and the profiler window. And then we'll finish by seeing how to compile and package our final game into an executable form ready for distribution to the end user on either the PC or the Mac desktop platforms. As you can see, there's a lot to get through, so let's get started.